Hi, this video is here to help you solve ratio problems. Ratio is a way of describing the relationship between two or more objects or parts. If you haven't already, it might be useful to go back and watch our videos explaining ratio language and the ratio symbol first. In this video, we're going to be looking at different representations that can be used to help to solve ratio problems. In a fruit bowl, there are two apples for every three bananas. There are two apples, there are three bananas. The ratio of apples to bananas is two to three. Remember, we use the ratio symbol, which is a colon, between the numbers and the parts stay in the same order as in the question. We could represent the ratio using counters, a bar model, or a double number line. You don't need to use all the representations, but can pick the one you find the easiest to use and understand. Now let's look at some of the types of ratio problems we might need to solve. Question one, if there are six apples, how many bananas are there? Let's use the double number line to help solve this problem. First of all, let's add the information that we know. We know that there are six apples. Let's look at the multiplicative relationship between two and six. This means, what do we multiply two by to get six? We multiply two by three to make six. If we are multiplying the number of apples by three, we need to also multiply the number of bananas by three. We can now see that if there are six apples, there will be nine bananas. This is how it would look without using the number line. Question two, if there are 20 pieces of fruit all together, how many of them are apples? Let's use counters to help us solve this problem. The green counters are representing apples and the yellow counters are representing bananas. For this type of question, we need to look at the total number of pieces of fruit. In the original ratio, we have five pieces of fruit. We want the total to be 20 pieces of fruit. We can create multiple groups like this and the ratio will stay the same. Now we have 10 counters or pieces of fruit all together. Now we have 15 pieces of fruit all together. Now we have 20 pieces of fruit all together. We can see that if there are 20 counters all together, eight of them are green, so there would be eight apples. This is how it would look without using the counters. We know that the total was four times greater, so we also need to multiply the numbers in the ratio by four. Question three. If there are three more bananas than apples, how many of each type of fruit are there? For this type of question, we need to look at the difference between the numbers in the ratio because we are comparing them. We'll use a bar model to solve this problem. Using the numbers in the original ratio, we can see that the difference between them is one. We want the difference to be three. We can make the bars bigger, but we need to remember to keep the numbers of apples and bananas in proportion. We can add two apples and three bananas, as these are the numbers in our ratio. Now we have four apples and six bananas. The difference this time is two. Let's repeat this by adding another set of two apples and three bananas. Now we can see that the difference between them is three. Now that we have a difference of three, we know that there are six apples and nine bananas. This is how it would look without using the bar model. We know that the difference was three times greater, so we also need to multiply the numbers in the ratio by three. You can see how we can use representations to help us solve ratio problems. Remember, the relationship is a multiplicative one, which means we can only multiply or divide, not add or subtract. Now it's your turn. If you find it helpful, you could use one of the representations we've looked at to help you answer the questions, or you might just want to use the abstract method. In a car park, there are red and blue cars. For every three blue cars, there are five red cars. What is the ratio of blue cars to red cars? Pause here and write down the ratio, then unpause to check your answer. The ratio of blue cars to red cars is three to five. Now use this ratio to answer the questions. 
Question one. If there are 30 red cars, how many blue cars are there? Question two. If there are 64 cars all together, how many of them are blue? Question three. If there are 20 more red cars than blue cars, how many red cars are there? Pause here and have a go. If you get stuck, you might find it useful to go back and watch the examples from earlier in the video. Here are the answers. Question one. If there are 30 red cars, there are 18 blue cars. Question two. If there are 64 cars all together, 24 of them are blue. If there are 20 more red cars than blue cars, there are 50 red cars. Great work! I hope this video helped you understand how to solve ratio problems. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website, so go and check them out.